Hey everybody, it's Nicola here and welcome back to some more Splatoon Turf Wars. Today I'm going to be using the Splattershot Pro here to take a quick look at its stats. As you can see I've used this weapon quite a lot. It was actually one of the weapons I used sort of as soon as it was available for me to buy in the store. I bought it and just started using it a lot. I really like Splat Bombs and Ink Strike as well, especially for Turf War, so this is what I'm going to be using today. We're actually jumping into two stages that at the time of recording are pretty new. Um, so this should be fun and hopefully we'll get some good matches. So I will see you in just a second. Alright, first up, first stage of the video here, we have Mahi Mahi Resort or Mayhai Mayhai. <laughs> Alright, so let's hopefully start off here with a nice and hopefully we're with some good people. Yay, nice! All the team's happy. So I'm actually still kind of learning this stage myself, so um, I'm just gonna try and hang back a little bit and just cover what I can. Because this weapon has quite a, a far range, its um, fire rate isn't too great, so it can be a little bit tricky to cover the ink, or to cover the ground with ink, so I think my priority is gonna be killing others. Now I have a ink strike which I'm gonna fire over there because there's a sniper up. Let's see if I got them. No I did not. Ooh. Oh, dang it. That was close. Oh I did get the sniper. Splatted by the bamboozer bam <laughs> bamboozler, however. That's quite a tricky weapon. I see you there, mate. Like you're not gonna get out of this. I'll just fire from back here. Oh gosh, nice work team. <laughs> I feel somewhat useless, but I did get one of the snipers at least. And we are up in terms of players? Oh, well now we're not, of course, as soon as I say that, but hey. It's not my fault. So I'm gonna go and jump onto these little platforms back here. This is a really difficult stage because you can fall into the water super easily. Oh my gosh, that noise. <laughs> I'm going to try and sneak around the back here if I can. Water level dropping! Haha, <laughs> there you go. The interesting thing about this stage is it changes halfway through, which is kind of something that's um, a little bit more common nowadays. Uh, when the stages were first, the first few stages that were released, they didn't really change that much, but we have, um... Oh, two of them. I would be quiet there to focus. Dang it! Uh, gel jet Squelcher. Uh, yeah, I think one of the first stages that had a major change was um, Camp Triggerfish because that had like a whole shift as you could only get to part of the stage and then in the last minute everything changes. So this is a little bit more significant, I think. Ooh, almost fell in the water because it actually gets more turf uncovered, which is a big deal. Ooh, someone's trying to get me and I don't know where they're at. They're up there. Almost. Threw a bomb up there, but I don't know if I can reach them from here. I can hear it firing. I can't hear where they at see where they actually are. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get lucky there. Oh well. Uh, we are in the lead at the moment. I don't think I've done particularly well. I'm just going to rush over here in the last 14 seconds because there's a little platform down here that's now revealed where I can get some ink coverage. So... Oh gosh, it's really close. I'm gonna try and throw a bomb before the end. I've thrown one. Ooh, I think we may have lost that one. I'm not sure. We do have quite a lot on their side. The blue kind of blends into the swimming pool a little bit. Oh my gosh, we won by 0.4%. Well, my bomb was worth it, right? I'm sure that contributed. Not a bad score either. Hey, we had a level 9. Good job, level 9. You did well. Alright, fantastic, let's jump on to the next map. Okay, same place again, different colour, we are now orange, but once again the opposing team is blue, which is interesting. Let's see, we have some unusual weapons on our side, we have the, um, it's not the jet, jet sculpture, it's something else, it's like the, the other really long range weapon that's kind of not very powerful. Um, cannot for the life of me remember what it's called, because I don't use it much, but um, just gonna take the the road less traveled because I think a few people are perhaps a bit scared to come over here because there's a chance you could just dive to your doom and that would not be very nice so 
I'm just gonna head over here, fill in these, and try and assist my teammates where possible. Uh, let's jump over here, throw a bomb over to test the water, so to speak. Test the ink. <laughs> right, let's do uh, one of these. That guy's gonna get me. Oh well, at least I got the ink strike off. Oh my goodness, like three of our team members are dead. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do a little bit of um, comeback here. Let's just cover this bit of our base. Looks like they're trying to invade over on this side. I'll just throw a bomb up there in case someone's coming our way. Oh, we have a, a sniper. Eesh. As someone who has a, quite a long range weapon, I feel like this might be sort of my responsibility, but it is hard. I don't think they can get me from here though. Nice. Come on, get him! I hit him once! There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> I was trying to get the sniper up on that platform, but they managed to evade my shots, unfortunately. Urgh. Right, water level dropping. I'm gonna head over here in that case and just try and cover stuff in. One of my teammates is also over here, which is nice. Let's cover in this little platform. Again, it is kind of hard to spray the ink when your weapons, like, got this priority. I see them over there. I Jeez. Oh lol, they just fell into the water. Amazing. Oh my god, okay, I need to hide behind here and I need to fire off one of these bad boys. It's been a while since I've used a weapon with ink strike actually. It is really good. Oh, I splatted someone nice. It's really good in turf war. Um, I, again, I personally, I think, probably, um, I got them for you, buddy, or maybe not, but... <laughs> I half got them. Boom. There was another guy. Ah, almost. I think I did my best there. Yeah, my favorite special weapon is kind of a tough one. Like, I think it's probably something like Bomb Rush, you know? Oh, jeez. That was a bad. That was a bad. Let's jump up here. Oh gosh, I fell. Yeah, see if we can build up another uh, ink strike. Actually, no, because I don't have my uh, special up gear on anymore. I actually have more focused on the bombs and stuff, so I think we won. Maybe. Did we win? Once again, the blue blending into the pool there. Nice. Oh, we won by quite a lot. Oh, yeah, I think my team got over to their side. That was what's going on. Well done, team! Ooh, nice score. Awesome. All right, well, we're going to be hopping into the other map this time. So I shall see you when I get around to it. Hopefully it'll be the next one. Please don't waste my time, game. Thank you. Fantastic. We're here in Museum de Alfonsino. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. All right, so yeah, this is the other new stage. Um, we're up against Mr. T, which could be quite worrying. <laughs> But anyways, let us take- I was going to take the upper path, but someone's already got that covered. So, um, the gimmick of this stage is these big rotating platforms that kind of cover up and uh, show ink at different times. You also have to work hard if you want to ride them because they can go places where you don't want to go and it can be a bit fiddly. It's also quite easy for the other team to hide on them. And the stage in uh, Ranked Battles is actually very fun because of this, but it, it's also very sneaky. So yeah, I'm just gonna do an old um, one of these. Yeah, just try it, mate. Just try it. You're trapped between me and my ink strike. Although they did happen to get away. <laughs> Let's cover this part in here, because they're trying to creep over to our base a little bit. This actually consumes ink quite fast, this weapon. It's not- like, I used to be really good with this weapon, but um... Oh my gosh, that was scary. I can get you from up there. <laughs> the, the good thing about it is that it has amazing range, but the, the slow rate of fire is what lets it down. Nice. Oh, just out of range of that person though. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are, there you are. Why would you run into the corner? Okay, I need to fire this ink thingy, ink strike. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide over here a little bit and just do that. That is a very interesting piece of art. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's all about. 
Like, is that like humans in their eyes? Just gonna throw some bombs up there to uh, troll a little bit. I also climb up this big middle section. This is um, a really good place to sort of take control of for your team because uh, it's central, you know? Can I get you from here? Oh, I would have if my ink hadn't ran out. Oh, I'm gonna try and bomb snipe this. You ready? <laughs> Red! <laughs> Seriously, bomb kills. Like, you cannot beat a good bomb kill. I'm out of ink. No. Where are they? I, th I feel like they've gotten past us somehow, but I don't know how that could have happened. Firing off another one of these. Throw a bomb down. Beware of my bombs, guys. I'm quite the, um... I'm quite the good shot with, the, with an old bomb. <laughs> Come on, get him. Yes, well done. I can get you from up here. Jeez. Oh, should I do it again? Oh, too late. Oh no! Did I get them? No, they just avoided it. <laughs> oh, I think I got someone else though with my second bomb. That's quite funny. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh, my score is already a thousand and that's not counting the winning points. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Jeez, they're really trying to go for me, aren't they? This is funny. Fire enough ink strike! Yes, got it, I think, just at the last second there. <laughs> aimed it quite well, which is nice. Yeah, look at that ink strike. <laughs> well, I feel kind of bad for them, but they still put up a really good fight to try and get out of that area. I'm really interested to see what my score is, because I didn't see it right at the last second there. 6 and 0, 14.95. I mean, that's pretty freaking good. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have one more of these, and I think that'll be it for today, so once again, fingers crossed, we get the museum once again. Alright, great, we're back in Museum Delfonsino, and we're here, we're orange versus dark blue. Okay, we have a decent mix of weapons, they have a couple rollers, so with me having long-range weapon, I think it will be my responsibility to attempt to get rid of them because that gold dynamo roller, I think that's what it was, those are brutal. Those are sick. They're too powerful. Alright, we have another ink striker on our team. I didn't quite see what weapon that would have been. I was more focusing on what theirs were. Oh, we also have one of these on their team. That'll be the uh, dynamo roller. I think that's what that has. Now right, let's set off our own ink strike. There's gonna be so many ink strikes. Don't worry, I'll avenge you! I didn't quite avenge you, but it's okay. Where the heck are you going? Aw, this isn't fun. I can't get back up there quick enough. Whoa, jeez, you came from nowhere! Okay, oh yeah, there's a regular dynamo roller and a gold one, I think. Why, we just KO'd like both of our teams at the same time. Like, that was crazy. There was like only one person alive on each team. Alright, I'm gonna stay up here a little bit and try and test the waters. I'm coming down from over this way. Cause I'll get you if you're down there. I hope you realise this. Aha. There's two people. Come on. Throw a bomb down there. Ah, my teammate got them for me. Excellent. Are you still up there? Yes, you are! Yeah, you run away. I can bomb as well, you know. They got away from me. How dare they? Alright, well I'm just gonna head over here and ink strike. Looks like my team's taking care of things pretty well. I don't feel like I've contributed much to this match, but it's okay. I'll just ride up here um, and see about the old bomb tactics. You know, I love those. Someone's also gone down the way. Oh, someone's back here. I'll avenge you. Oh. <laughs> I'm not avenging anybody. Well, it's okay. We're still leading. Um, I was going to say I could patch up our base, but there's not really much that needs patching up. And with me having the kind of weapon I do, it's, it's definitely more for killing. Okay, this time, can I get a kill? Oh, well, my teammate did, but I think I helped a little bit, so... Oh, you are so lucky that you avoided that. <laughs> okay, I did get a kill. Yay! Okay, let's see. Oh, two people. There's one. Nice friend. He got them for me. There's 
throwing them bombs, you know. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four. Let me do an end of the battle nice since I don't really- Oh, I got someone right at the end. <laughs> well, I think my team did most of the work for that one, but I did kill a couple. Although I got killed myself quite a fair bit too that match, so... Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh no, I I think we all did pretty well there. I 7-2 in a 1600 score? Wow, that person in the top did really well. Alright, well that's it for today's matches. Um, stay tuned, I'll try and get some stages in that we haven't seen in Turf War so far. Because I have a little spreadsheet, so I'll try and... Um, get all the stages I haven't done covered at least once and also the same with my ranked battle videos and uh, more of that coming as well so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next video